Today we will refinish chairs that I inherited from my grandmother and renew the upholstery. These chairs have been in my household for more than 10 years and before that belonged to my grandmother. They are pretty beat up and need a restoration. I start by removing the remainder of the old upholstery. After cutting the fabric in pieces, I was hoping to pull the staples out with the fabric, which did not work. I also bought this fancy tool to remove the staples. It kind of worked, but at the end I prefer using an awl to loosen each staple and then pull it out with a pair of pliers, which was way faster than using that weird specialized tool. The foam was totally disintegrated and I removed it with a putty knife. A few joints are loose and need a repair. As the chairs are quite old, the joints are most likely put together using height glue. The advantage of height glue is that it is reversible by adding heat and water. I would like to make future restorations easy and keep that feature. So I put some beads of height glue in water and let them soak up the water overnight. The next day I heat the glue in a baby bottle heater. I add a liberal amount of glue to the joint, clamp it together and remove the excess. The old varnish is now sanded and scraped away. To remove the varnish from the rounded parts, I first use a scraper and then follow up with some 80 grit sandpaper. If you haven't used this card scraper before, you should give it a try. It is very efficient in removing old finish. To remove the varnish from the very tight corners, I use various odd shaped blades that came with my cutter. The good news is that the coating is very thin and can be removed without any chemical strippers. It's a lot of sanding with a random orbit sander and hand sanding first with 80, then with 120, then with 180 and finally 240 grit. Before finishing the wood, let's have a look at the upholstery part. I never did any upholstery before, so if you have a good tip, please leave a comment. I got 60mm foam from Amazon. If you want to get the same material, I have links in the description. The foam is cut to the shape of the seed with a centimeter or a quarter of an inch overhang on each side. Over the foam I put this batting. The batting ensures that the fabric is not rubbing against the foam and thereby destroying it. I pull the batting to the seat, mark a line and cut off the excess. With a flexible measure tape I measure the length of the fabric I need and cut the fabric that I also got from Amazon to size. Next I put everything upside down on my bench. In order to create a nice fit, I start pulling the fabric tight to the wood in the middle of each side and secure it with a staple. I then work my way from the middle towards the corners, always securing the fabric with staples. For the corners, I remove some of the fabric before securing it again to the underside. Lastly, I remove the excess of the fabric and call it done. The borders of my seats are a bit wavy, but I got better with each additional chair from the set of four. The last step is to apply a new finish to the wooden parts. I think every woodworker should have a default finish that you are able to apply even if someone wakes you up in the middle of the night. For me, that's a simple oil finish. The main advantage is that if there is a dent or a scratch, I can sand down one area and refinish it without stripping the entire piece and it is very easy to apply. When you apply the oil it really pops the grain, but in contrast to poly or lacquer you can still feel the wooden texture. The application is very simple. Just use a kitchen sponge and put a generous amount of oil on the surface. You then let it soak in for 30 minutes and come back and remove the excess with a paper towel. Just make sure that the rags are spread on the table and can dry out on the air, otherwise they might catch fire. The next day I repeat the process with another layer of oil. 
When I tried to reattach the seat, I quickly realized that the screw holes are worn out. So I drilled them out to 6mm and glued in some dowels. This way, the screws can securely hold the seat in place. With a few felt bumpers screwed to the feet, the chair is done. I'm very happy with how this chair turned out. The joints are stable, the new finish looks much better and the new upholstery is very, very comfortable. If you are interested in more furniture and workshop projects, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to have a look at future projects, please follow me on Instagram.